it sounds like that any moment now we could be finding out officially or at least as official as it gets through one of the big trades just who exactly is going to be joining the fantastic four so the latest name to pop up in relation to the human torch has gotten a lot of traction so let's talk about paul mescala <laughs> First up, right off the bat, let me just clarify, I have no idea who this guy is. According to his IMDB, he's known for projects such as Normal People and After Sun, and he's Emmy nominated and Oscar nominated, so um that that's a uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. He's also the leading role of Ridley Scott's upcoming Gladiator 2. So clearly, the guy must be real good. Apparently so good that Marvel Studios is potentially looking to secure him before he explodes into massive popularity and his uh, asking price is really high. So it's not surprising that we're hearing that they've potentially offered him the role of Human Torch and or potentially he's one of the top candidates, which in my opinion, fine. Um, You're just looking at pictures of him. I can totally see a Johnny Storm in him. Like, he has that face. And if you look at a couple videos, he definitely can carry that Johnny Storm attitude. So far, out of the three live-action iterations we've gotten of the Fantastic Four, including the Corman one, Chris Evans is the closest to come to a Johnny Storm that's pretty much spot-on, at least to what you would think they would need to do. So, it fits. Um, I think he would be a good get. And... Once again, if you just look at his pedigree and where he's coming from and what's next, it's like that perfect Marvel Studios actor. Right before they explode into popularity, just like, I mean, multiple castings they've had recently, right? From Florence Pugh to Haley Steinfeld to countless others. It's right on that border where they might be the make it or break it or secure them right before another big project is coming. So if he gets it, Again, without having seen this content, just looking at a couple clips and pictures, and this guy seems like a good get. So, um, you know, uh, at least from what I can see, he would be good. Now, I do want to say that there is always the chance that this report could be kind of uh, caught up in a, I don't know, like mixed reporting, where he could be up for a completely different Marvel project and or a different role in this film. And it's just got uh, conflated with Human Torch because it's like, oh, he might pull off that look. We've had that happen before with castings. A lot of people say, oh, look at the actor he cast. It's definitely this character. Turns out they're in the project. They're not that character. They're somebody completely out of left field. So I guess we'll wait and see. 